What's up, everybody? This is Charles Arnaz. You like the Charles Arnaz world. Uh, just checking in with you guys. Listen, I found this story. I wanted to break this. I wanted to break this off to you. Uh, man wears pink skirt, <laughs> maternity shoot with his baby daughter. Did y'all see this? It is fool. Why would he do this? Of course, they're gonna blow this up. Man wears, you know, it's, it's a brother as well. So of course, it's gonna be extra special attention. Man wears pink skirt in paternity shoot with his baby daughter. First man embraces wearing pink became the norm for many. After that, other culture changes ended up altering the perspective of masculinity. Now a post on Facebook has gone viral of a man wearing a pink skirt was commonly associated with dance recitals. He, he got in a damn tutu. The post shows a man holding his newborn baby girl. He did this he, he he did this a part of a photo shoot for him and his daughter. However, the optics of it ha have led to controversy. What made him want to do this? Currently, there's a debate going on about many things going on. What? On social media. <laughs> uh, much of these debates are in the overdrive on social media. Again, the above photo has gone viral on Facebook. Big question on the platform is if this is taking things too far. While this is the era of equality, some people have expressed concerns with this kind of perception being potentially shown as impressionable youth. On, fe uh, on Facebook, the above photo has gone viral and has for the obvious reasons the man did a photo shoot with his newborn baby girl. Not only is she rocking a little skirt, but the man is too. Those who have participated in the debate have questioned why the man chose to dress this way. Some have questioned if this is start of a trend of men doing things a little like when they have paternity photo shoots for their daughters. Man wears pink skirt and paternity photo. Okay, this is crazy. This is insane. Look at this fool, man. Why would he do he he doing this because he knew it would be he's trying to he might be a rapper or something. So he figured this would be a good attention getter, but and don't really care about the consequences of it. He like look like he ain't got no draws on or nothing. You know? He all tatted up, so I guess, you know, that's let let us know that he about that life, I guess. And got I don't know. This is ridiculous. He just he just wanted attention and we're giving it to him. So I hope he enjoys it. But uh what is his daughter gonna think about this when she grows up and see him? But daddy like she's gonna be asking him questions like daddy, like what what, what was you thinking when you did this with me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cute little girl. She's adorable. Oh my gosh, she's an adorable little girl. The cute little eyes. Cute little smile, cute, cute, cute kid, you know. Damn. Of course, as a brother, I wonder if if, if a uh, white boy did this, would they have gave this this much attention, or would it just be all oh, just a silly? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. People talk about this agenda for the uh, destruction of black masculinity. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, that could be, I mean, I don't know. Concerning about a lot of these photos that have come out recently, especially the ones with Jonathan Majors. I think he did that, was that Rolling Stone? With Ebony Magazine. And then the other cat, Keith Stanfield, did some controversial pictures with him wearing like a, a, he wearing a skirt or something with some thigh highs. I don't know. But, um, you know, and then, then even before that, you had uh, Will Smith's son wearing skirts with Louis Vuitton. So I think it's a push. I, I think it's the let. I think what the mainstream media is telling us is like, listen, if y'all would just bow down to us and become like a feminine, to to kind of ease our view of you being ferocious and being, uh, you know, um, savages. If you guys just wear like women's clothing, we'll accept you. Like we, you, you can come into our world if you just just bow down. You know, don't be so aggressive. Like. You know, to show us that you're not a threat, wear this skirt, put on this lipstick. You know what I'm saying? 
take the role of a woman and let us become the men. You know, I was watching the, I was watching the uh, movie. I remember watching the movie. It's called. It was called. It's called. It's on Netflix. It's called Hollywood, a Hollyland, and it's about like the old school Hollywood days. And then they had this. Uh, they had this. They had this character pretty much that was. Well, they had this gas station that a lot of the like struggling actors would work at. Back in the day, they had gas station attendants that would pump their gas for you back in like in the fifties. So they had these male gas station attendants at this garage, at this gas station. But it was undercover, a almost like a brothel for women, women married women of these studio execs that would work. You know, studio execs work 10, 12 hours a day. So these wives would be at home, you know lonely and they would go down to the gas station and they would pay for these young men to sleep with them well eventually they started so it was pretty much the main character was a white boy so then eventually they had the guy they had men gay men back in those days that were on a deal but you know back in the 50s you had to be on a DL. you know you could get shot saying that you like to sleep with men you know what i'm saying back back in those days and that was in california so they had a lot of the men that were undercover that were coming to the gas station they would try to sleep with some of the men because they heard through the women that these men were selling themselves to them. So they're just getting gas. So, um, uh, the main character, which was a white guy, he was like, hey, I ain't sleeping with no man. Now. And then the guy who owned the garage was like, well, you better because these gay dudes pay good money. You need to sleep with these men. He's like, I don't sleep with men. So they end up finding, guess who they end up getting to sleep with the men? Out of all these white boys having sex with all these women at the gas station, guess who they found that time found to have sex with the men? You guessed it, a brother. <laughs> I stopped watching it. I said, okay. So the white boys getting all the coochie and the brother got it. Okay, I said, all right, you know what? I'm good. I stopped watching it. You know what I'm saying? Um, they had Queen and Tiff in it. And even she, she, I didn't like her scene either because she was playing um um oh she was playing the lady who played the um uh, I forgot the lady's name I think it's Fannie Mae Hamer or I forgot the lady the lady who played the maid and gone with the wind she Queen Tifa played her and they even made her character gay they made her they they show her coming out in the room with this woman and then the, the dude they had uh, the lady who Queen Tifa was portraying. Uh, she was in the room with this woman, and the dude came. They all three of them started kissing. It was very, it was, it was a very like, why are they doing this? I, it was a good story. Then they started getting, they started putting like a lot of like, you know, LGBT stuff in it, and kind of made it like they, they were like these freaks. It was, it was, it was, it was called, it's called Hollyland. Y'all can watch it if y'all want to watch it. It's on, um, it's on Netflix. But anyway, what do y'all think about this? Y'all think it's an agenda? What y'all think, man? Leave your comments and subscribe to Charles on there as well. Take care.